How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Morlock, this is Captain's Vlog. Today is the day, it is launch day today guys. I've been on board since 5.30 this morning, it is now coming up 7 a.m. The reason that a get start <coughs> works so early is we are currently transferring fuel from the main tank to the day tanks. Now transferring fuel on dry dock is very dangerous. So we've done, um, <clears throat> so we've done very uh, careful calculations. Uh, we are transferring the fuel at the moment from the port side main tank into the day tank through the Alpha Laval system. Now here is the Alpha Laval controls. So what I did, what I did before starting the system, I had to prime the seal with water. It's a water seal. Turn the separator on, then turn the pump on. That should be now transferring around 500 liters per hour from the main tank into the day tank now the alpha laval is down through here i'll show you guys this bilge needs to be all cleaned up still it's been painted but this needs cleaning from all the workers basically this is the alpha laval and we've got the fuel pump there what the Alpha Laval does, it spins the fuel, separating all the water, any dirt, any contaminated fuel to the side that then goes into the sludge tank. So it's basically cleaning the fuel. It then from there, it goes into the day tank. Let's get out of here. Up, up, up. Okay, so the day tank, one second. Up, up, up. The day tank is directly behind this bulkhead here. And what we're doing, we're filling the tank right up. Once that is done, the Caterpillar engineers will start priming the main engines. Now, the reason we want the day tank so full is when it's full up, it's higher than the engines, which will make the priming easier because you get a, a pressure going directly to the engines. Because the only thing the guys can do to prime the main engines with fuel is this tiny little hand pump here. It is, it is minute and that's the only way they can do it. So in order to make the process a lot easier, a lot quicker, we fill the fuel tanks right up and then the pressure from the tank should help to, um, uh, to prime, prime the main engines. So uh, it's been a very busy last few days as you guys have seen. Today is launch day, so very excited. So we should be in water in theory this afternoon. Once we're in the water, we're gonna check all the through hole fittings, all the valves. We've got to check the stuffing boxes, the um, <clears throat> the rudder seals, check the bow thruster seals, and any fittings that are below the water to make sure there's no ingress of water. That is priority number one, is to ensure the watertight integrity of the vessel. After that, priority number two, is they're gonna start up the two generators uh, from the specialists from um, Cola and then Caterpillar will start up the two main engines. We will then be testing all the equipment, the bow thrusters, the stabilizers, the steering, the main engines, the thrust, a stern and a head. Um, and then from there, <coughs> the guys will continue working on deck uh, to finish the installation of all the hardware, doing all the sealing and sea trial time. And I'm excited to see for those that you have been following the channel, the results of the tuned propellers. So fingers crossed, we reach the correct RPM of the main engines. And in theory, we shall have a cleaner, better fuel burn as well. So that's what's, uh, what I'm really looking for, for. And that reduced the, the, the pollution uh, from the main engine exhausts. So guys, that's the update for now. Um, I may update you guys a little later, but uh, for you, for me, it'll be a few hours. For you, it'll be probably this. Okay guys, so both fin stabilizers are now back on. You can 
see the travel lift is going into its place to put the boat onto the lift. And we finally bring a few final bits on board the vessel. And it's all where everybody's all hands on deck at the moment. So we're putting the arrows now onto the fin stabilizers. The reason that we do that is then because it's black, you can't see it when it's in the water. So the white arrows, you can see clearly, and then it's uh, basically a safety feature. The brakes still need putting on. Anchor needs putting up. Right guys, as you can see, the bow thruster grate is now reinstalled on both sides and the anchors, both anchors are now up in their anchor pockets, as you can see, all looking bene. Great, it's on the port side as well. We're ready to go. Slavin is just finishing off the installation of the fin stabilizer. The travel lift, as you can see, is in place after lunch. She'll then strap it up together and then we'll start lifting the boat and then hopefully by later this afternoon we'll be uh, in the water but for now it's lunchtime everybody's left and to uh, get a bite to eat gonna need our energy and uh just want to show you this stabilizer quickly so we've got another coat of white um, anti-foul on there pietro is on the phone exciting times guys exciting times uh yeah more to come, absolutely a lot, a lot more to come. Right guys, the AWOL is in the travel lift, it's on the strops as you can see, that is removing the final part there of the scaffolding, just off the swim platform. They put protection, protecting blocks between the straps and the boat to avoid um, scratching the new paint. You can see between the straps, they've got wooden blocks which are wrapped in bubble wrap. So there's no actual contact with the boat itself from the from the straps. And then what they'll do once they lift the vessel probably about half a meter a meter, they'll move all the um, all the chocks and then all the areas that couldn't be anti-foul, they'll then anti-foul um, before putting it back into the water. Okay guys, it's official. AWOL is now off the uh, off the chops. All the pressure is now on the straps. And up she comes. Basically, you can see here it's off the chops. And this area is the old anti foul from last year, so they'll give that a quick sand down and then coat that in fresh anti foul. And once that's done, um, they'll start moving the boat and drop it in the water. All right, guys, we're back now with Barbara. The boat's in the straps. Barbara, what are your thoughts about the last six months? Just give us a summary and uh, what are your thoughts on the result with the paints and with the engineering? Well, to sum it, it's been a lot of things done on board. Uh, ten years of it includes a lot of things about safety, technical things, all the full holds, the valves, uh, emergency bilge, secondary bilge, everything actually. So, we did a lot of things, uh, including all the full holds, the valves, uh, emergency bilge, everything. Ten years of it. So basically, the boat is like brand new, but even better because it's been used in service, so you have no surprises. So it's really, really good condition now. Everything that we could improve, we did. Uh, with professionals that have been working on boats uh, when they built the boat 10 years ago, so they knew the boats. 
as much as we do know the boat actually, it was amazing to have them on board and I think they did a great job. Huh? Most fantastic. of them, that was fantastic, yeah. And you can't wait to wash her down, huh? I want to wash her down, yeah. she needs it. But she looks amazing. Look, she's not even clean, huh? She's not even clean, look at her. She's so beautiful and shiny. And she is moving. She wants to go in the water. She gotta wait. And gotta wait she wants to get her feet wet. This is it guys, it was finally moving, heading into the water. Look how cool that is. Isn't that just impressive? Absolutely epic. So this gentleman here has got a remote control and he's controlling the travel lift. He's, he's controlling the whole crane. We've got spotters over here, and he's got spotters over there, and they're in constant communication with each other. Six months, guys. It's been six months in the waiting. Expect to have any problems with the main engines? I hope no. I hope no. How, how many months have you been working for AWOL now with AWOL? I don't remember that. Uh, four or five. Four or, or five less. months. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's your favorite boat to work on, right? Absolutely, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now and get a view from the bow. Look at that, guys! Check that out. There's the Barbarack. Pretty epic. What's up, Barbara? Those of you that have been watching the channel for the last six months, you know exactly what we've all gone through, all the hard work that's gone into our world. And finally the day is here to, to launch our spectacular paint job, all the engineering works. Really proud of all the team, really excited to get the boat in the water, finish off all the jobs and start doing the sea trials and start the charter season as well. Um, it's about halfway now, so we're just going into the basin just there. And it was behind this Mangusta, the 165 called Pumpkin. Here we are guys, a moment of truth. The bow of AWOL is now over the water. Everybody's all very anxious, arms crossed, hoping for the best. <laughs> Some of the crew are just there, waiting. Slavin waving his hands. We are officially over the water now. Exciting times, guys, exciting times. Nerve wracking, but exciting. in the water. If you enjoyed that vlog, uh, AWOL is now safely in the water. We only had uh, all the through hole fittings, all the work that's been done. We had two leaks, one on the port side uh, generator exhaust, and the other leak was on the uh, seawater intake for the emergency fire pump. That's all been tightened up. There's no more sign of leakage. Both generators are running nice and smoothly. Once they finish that, they'll turn the generators off and they'll start then the main engines. 
So guys, if you like our video, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Tomorrow we'll be moving the boat from the basin here in the shipyard around the corner to the berth. I'll be recording it all for you guys. And then I'll finish the outfitting on board for the next few weeks before heading to France. So until tomorrow, um, I'll look forward to seeing you guys next video.